I have a lot of favorite things about ASL and verb tenses is definitely a big one. In many languages, you have to conjugate verbs. You have to change the ending of the verb depending on the pronoun, the person doing that verb. So let's look at, a, at an example from Spanish, which is considered one of the easiest second languages for an English speaker to learn. I'm gonna share my screen with you. There we go, okay. So um, you can see that if you take the verb, uh, well, here are the pronouns and then you, you take whatever verb it is and then you add these different endings based on um, the person doing it, right? So once you do that, it ends up like this. And then there are actually different ways to conjugate verbs depending on whether they are regular verbs or irregular verbs. And then it even gets more complicated <laughs> because when you consider tenses, you have to think about is the verb happening now or did it already happen or will it happen in the future or might it happen in the future? And then you conjugate the verb dif differently based on the moment in time in which it takes place. So in Spanish, there are a total of 18 different tenses, present, preterite, imperfect, future, conditional, present perfect, preterite perfect, past perfect, conditional perfect, I'm not even gonna finish. So here's your new favorite thing about ASL. It doesn't do any of that. So as you saw on the ASL timeline before, um, time in ASL is rep represented spatially, meaning in space, it occupies space. The space behind you is the past, the space near you is the present, and the space in front of you is the future. So verbs in ASL don't necessarily have tenses like they do in most other world languages. Woohoo! The verbs in ASL remain the same, but you just indicate past, present, and future in other ways. So if you're using another sign that indicates time, like yesterday, right? Yesterday, I'll just sign it. So that verb go, yesterday I go school, that verb go is already understood to be in the past. It's already understood to be the English equivalent of went because you just signed yesterday. So you already know that that verb, that go happened in the past. And in English, we would say went. So similarly, if you sign The verb go is understood now to be in the future because you just said that it was because you signed tomorrow. So the English equivalent of that sentence in ASL would be something like, I will go to school or I am going to go. So that's one way that you can indicate tenses in ASL is just to use a time sign. If you aren't using another sign that indicates time like yesterday or last week, then you can use the signs future or past to indicate that you have done it or you will do it or it will happen. So for example, if you sign I read book with no other time indicators, that pretty much means it's happening now. But if you want to say, I read the book previously, I did read it, then you can sign And remember, time signs come at the beginning of an ASL sentence. If you haven't read the book yet, but you're planning to, you could sign. Like, I'm going to read the book or in the future, I'll read the book. So instead of learning all sorts of rules about conjugations for ASL verbs, you just use signs related to time. It's simple and straightforward. So hopefully that's your new favorite thing about ASL too.